everybody say yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. We've been messing around for a long time. Long time. Oh, wow, now. Wow, now. Oh. What's good? This your girl, Ayla. All I can say is, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I know a lot of people have been wondering where I was at, but um, I'm back now, so y'all don't even try and start pressing me with the questions and everything. A lot of people have been asking me, um, well, where, where are your videos and what are you doing and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I went to the hair store again today and I fell in love. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what I got here. Before I apply it, I want to show it to you guys so you guys can get the inside effect. I think what I found is if I review something without actually um, showing you the inside, you don't get the full benefit of seeing how much lace is there and then um, what type of lace it is because I'm finding on these uh, synthetics there is a difference. Trust and believe. Okay, yes. Let's get it in. This is by Janet Collections. It is a full lace wig, which full lace don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the full lace wig uh, terminology. All that means is y'all about to get lace on the front, okay? And then you're about to get some lace on the back. Lace on the back is the truth, though. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know. This is the stretchy lace. This is the type of lace, um, if I'm not mistaken, that is on the real full lace wigs that you get throughout the entire thing. It's not going down with this, though. All you're getting is the back. So you can be able to wear your hair in that ponytail and you kind of get a realistic effect, which that's a good look. I'm going to tell y'all why in a minute. Um, on the front is the itchy joint. That's what you get. You get the itchy lace. And then this bad baby, I'm not even going to hold y'all up. It's absolutely no, I'm going to tell you guys, there is like no lace at all. Like you got parting room for this might not even be like from here to here. This is like you looking at. <laughs> no, I mean, you're looking at about half an inch. I mean, to be all the way real, it's not much. But the hair texture itself, it's nice. I didn't even tell you guys what it is. I said it's by Janet Collection. Didn't even tell you what it is, nothing about it. Okay, her name is Full Lace Orchid Wig. She is a Piano FS1B27. Um, we are not going to set our front lace. Full lace, whatever wig. We're not going to set it on the front of our head like that because it's trifling. Then nobody need for your wig to be here. I don't, mm -mm. it's not what's up at all. Anyways, it does have um, two combs, one here, one there. And then you also have uh, one comb in the back, baby comb. You got the baby comb going on in the back. You have your adjustable straps right there. And then you have another one here on the other side. So you got those going on. So what I'm going to do is cut the lace off on my wig. And um, I think I showed you guys everything I can show you about her. Um, it just has the Janet Collection emblem um, along the wig itself. When I cut my lace, almost every single time I cut my lace, I cut my lace um, as close to the um, hairline as I can. It's because to me it looks phony to be having on an extra and I don't buy my down. So that's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys for just a hot second. Yes, I will be back. Don't despair. I'm not leaving for a couple months like I did before and not coming back. I am coming back because I like this. I like this and I want to see show you guys how this will look on you if you have. Okay. So. I hate like mine. I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm going to be back, guys. It's really just... <sighs> Janet Collections. This is Janet Collections. Full Lace Orchid is her name. That sounds right. Orchid. Okay. She's a Piano FS1B27. And if you look, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to make sure that the camera is catching it. Up here it does say um, premium heat resistant fiber. So basically to me, that's the same thing as Futura. So they're telling me I can put heat to this bad baby. If I can put heat to this, we are in business because I have a serious problem with a hair in my mouth. I got a serious problem with uh, the tangling in the back of the nape, which I told you guys this does have lace in the back. Um, I didn't put any, uh, I, I did cut it as I normally would. Um, in my profession, we can't have our hair down draping on our shoulders uh, in, in both of my jobs. Um, it's not professional. As well as it's real nasty um, because if you're giving care to somebody and, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to do CPR or something, 
how are you going to do any type of anything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at this, hair's all in your face and stuff. You know, it's, it's not going down. And it is nasty, too, if somebody's bleeding or snotting or something, you know, to be getting that in your hair. You want to look good while you're at work. I mean, we are females and males. We like to look good. But not for that price. I'm not about to be having somebody's, you know what I'm saying? I love my job, but I don't need hepatitis, HIV, uh, hepatitis ABC. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, hmm, I don't get down with the germs. But anyways, this is how Orchid looks. Um, it does have a, a very... I like the shine. Some people complain about the shine. I wouldn't change it. As I told you guys before, there is literally no parting room at all. So you need to just go ahead and put it back. When you do start to do things like part, um, you get to see the piano streaks that are in her. I love F1B27. I love 27. Okay, so... Um, the length is, I think, hold on, I'm going to take the camera down a little bit. It might chop off some of my head. But this is the length um, of the unit. It is longer than I think. This is the longest thing I think I've ever worn in my entire life because I'm not comfortable with having hair that's so long it just looks like it ain't even yours. It's coming out your scalp here, but, I mean, who's, you know. But, I mean, I don't even care because this bad baby, she looks good. Y'all know y'all probably tired of hearing me say that she's the truth, but you know what? And this is a nice piece. I have gotten already, I've been using a powder brush on here. I have gotten already a lot of shedding, which, as you know, doesn't bother me because my hair is usually up into something or back into something or whatever. So, um, I was telling you guys about uh, the way I want my hair. So, what I'm probably going to do is, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'll make another video about it, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and put some tape um, back here. Oh, before I forget. She is heat resistant, so you can go ahead and put heat on her, so that's all good. There's a new product that I got from the beauty supply store. I got it for $2.99. It is called Remy. This is what it looks like. And it smells like a prof it says, uh, professional. It brings hair back to life. I'm telling you right now. I was using the Caress Weave Care. It's by Caress. The name of it is Weave Care. It's good. This is better. And there's another item that is better than this they told me about. They promised me it was going to be in tomorrow. It is a green bottle, but I cannot remember offhand what the name of it is. But the bottle's like this tall, it's green, whatever, that doesn't help. But um, this is a leave-in conditioner and a detangle shine. It does exactly what it says it does. And there is another thing that I got today on um, this. This, I'm trying to, okay, what I'm trying to do is uh, the tangling that happens behind your neck bothers me a lot. So I'm trying to buy products as well as keep keep my, you know, wigs looking nice because I like to wash them, you know, and put them back in a package. I usually don't wear them more than two weeks because after that it's a wrap and they're dead. And I mean, it's, it's very hard to revive them after that. But with this tool right here, this is, um, doesn't really have a brand. It was like $2. But there's a, a blade or two blades inside of here. And then this is a comb on this side. This is a shorter comb on this side. And when you're going down, it cuts you know, while you're doing it. So if you have, like, fraying, um, I don't want to be going on and on, but if you have the fuzzy stuff junking up, you know what I'm saying, at the bottom of your wig, or you notice that your ends are getting nasty, I don't really want to do this. You guys get the idea, though. You just comb and it cuts. And then you don't have to worry about using scissors and you get that nasty blunt cut looking like like a Vicky Minaj or something. Like, oh, I'm going to cut my bangs. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. it's not cute. This is a lot better. Because you get that even and in. Most of the time when you comb it, it just combs all of the nappy stuff out. And then you go ahead and you use some Remy, you're back to life. I'm talking about real talk back to life. And I am so serious about stuff lasting because, yeah, it is a recession. I got bread. Everybody got bread. Everybody got money. Nobody want to be sitting up buying up stuff, you know, and it's going bad. I like to wear my stuff for two weeks, put it back in the closet. What if I want to wear it again? No, we can't wear it again because it's smoked out from the back of your neck. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like that. Or from necklaces or from sweat or whatever, you know, so I fully intend on wearing this for two weeks. I like it a lot. Um, I went ahead and put the two combs in here. There is no comb up here. I went ahead and put the comb in in the back, and I like it. The streaks are very nice. I'm trying to let you guys see them. I have a good quality cam, but I'm doing the best I can. And this is where we at. This here is the truth. Oh, it does have those little metal, um, like a little metal rod, you know, a little metal joint going all through there. It's just a metal piece maybe about this big right here, and it lays right here. So when I pull my hair back, of course, if it's not glued at the tip here, you're not going to get that security. But when I pull my hair back, it does keep 
you know, I mean, you can go all the way here, but I mean, when I pull up, you're not going to see all of that just because of the fact that, you know, um, that metal piece is there and it keeps it down. So when I put my wigs on, I go ahead and I mold it to my head. Let me see where it's at. It's here. And it's kind of going like, it's going like this right here. So all I got to do is just, you know, push it down a little bit on both sides and I get some extra added um, security kind of lays it flat. So, like I said, I did go ahead and cut my lace all the way off. Um, I try and make one clean cut. If I make mistakes, I try and, you know, very, very slowly go over them because um, it does cause your, I don't know if it's just me, but my, my lace be fraying and this is the itchy lace. So you got the itchy stuff going on, be scratching, pat my head, all that because that's not cute. So I try my best to keep itching down to a bare minimal because I know already what I paid for. I only paid 40 bucks for this, $39.99 and I know what I'm getting. I'm getting the itchy lace, okay? So I want to look good, but I don't want to be itching. So, um... The way I would wear her is probably just like this. When I go to work, I'd probably do um, either a sideways ponytail kind of like this or, you know, something to that effect. If you guys notice, I did cut. Um, I have really horrendous uh, sideburns. I went ahead and I just used like a little, I think it's supposed to be for your eyebrows, but I never use it for my eyebrows. I just pluck. So that's what I use for there. And um, on my head, I used the No Nonsense Knee High. I went ahead and got regular size. They were like two for a dollar on sale or something, so I just bought a whole bunch of them. And it gives me a nice snug fit. It doesn't really matter what color it is with this wig just because there is no lace to be parting to be having a synthetic part, so you don't have to worry about it anyways. But that's what I use. So um, try out the Remy um, Brings Your Hair Back to Life. Try that Remy out. Somebody let me know if you guys are feeling it the way I'm feeling it. I put it on an older wig. I'm not about to just sit up and douse this wig down. There's nothing wrong with it. But when your joints start to get dead, it's going to bring it back to life. I liked it. On the first one I used, I mean, I worn that maybe three times before. Not consecutively three days, but, I mean, it was for a club night. So, of course, I was sweating and the back got all messed up. And then I went ahead and zoop, zoop, got rid of that. Sprayed some of this. And I was in business already to put her back in the box already. I'm happy. So, let me know. Again, Janet Orchid, this is a uh, 1B27, and I like her. Mine doesn't look like hers, though. You see, we pull ours back on our hairline because we're smart girls. Okay, let me know how you guys feel about this. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm sorry I've been gone. Let me know if you want to see something different. I'm always open for suggestions, makeup, hair, anything, jewelry. Let me know. I'm more than happy. I'm, I'm here for you guys, all right? We can make love to a rap song. Me and you. Baby, we can make love to a rap song A milli, a milli, a milli, a motherfucker I'm ill Baby, we can make love to a rap song Shout it, oh, it's your birthday oh. We gon' party like oh. it's your birthday Where that new cheese is CD Put on that yo got it I'm digging in your Gucci while we listening to Gucci on a rap song My jeans sag, boy